Okay, now we can stop looking into the diary a little bit less and we now start with the more practical, practical stuff to allow us to work more with the library. We will also return to this theoretical stuff during our hands-ons because I prefer more to show show this theory on the on the practical stuff because it give you better better visibility how how this works. Okay, we start with the hardware peripherals, the hardware IPs. Usually, these IPs are always present and is they are common for the all steam 32s Then, if you don't know know them, then you will use them for the all steam 32s Okay, the system peripherals. We will look on this because it's good to first test everything also on the on the on your own. It not only to talk about talk about the theory. I will go also through this theory later on, but I think it's good to first talk a little bit about the theory and then go go to the to the hands-ons. We talk before about about the structure. Now we look on the one part of the structure on the system peripherals divers, which called uh, which are hidden few peripherals which are common for the all STM32. Then if you know this periphery, so one time it will be common for the all STM32s. Then the peripherals which are there hidden is definitely the GPO. You know that we worked with the GPO before in the first our test uh, test lab, which was the GPO toggle. The GPO is the general purpose input output uh, periphery. There are th then the RCC, the reset and clock control, is always necessary and always present. You cannot disable this periphery. The DMA, the direct memory access, which is the supporting periphery, which can easy the life for us for the for the transfers of the data from the one part of the microcontroller to the second second destination. Then definitely a uh, fixed part of our our microcontroller is the core, <laughs> the Cortex core. And the in our context I, we will talk about the NVIC, which is the nested vector interrupt controller. This uh, this periphery handle all interrupts and the cystic uh, cystic timer and your uh, uh, APIs and last last uh, system periphery more than less is the power management uh, management periphery the PWR which also contains some useful useful functionalities. This periphery is good uh, always good to know because you usually you always use use them. Okay, the first uh, I will start with the reset, reset and clock control. Only very simple because also reset and clock control can be can be more complicated. We will go through this a little bit later. Maybe from the QPMX you remember the the clock configuration. Then I also explain you how this configuration uh, clock configuration inside the QPMX in the graphical tool. It's reflected in our our project in case in also case that you want to create your clock configuration on your on your own. Yes, the the functions. Usually the functions are hidden in the in the HL library in which ends with the C in the C files. And we also have some macros, which are very basic functionalities for which is not necessary to have the the function because it will be more than less the waste of the time. Or you using this macro so often that it saves the the performance for you. Then it's better to have them in the in the H file. Then in case that you are uh, searching for the functionality, you can search in the in the .c file if there is the function and also you can look into the header file is there is the equivalent of the of the macro 
the RCC. What is uh, our interest now? Because all peripherals which we want to use require the clocks. You definitely can select the clock, which we do before in the graphical tool, the clock source, the dividers, the multipliers, the P PLL circuit, and definitely this is very important, but also all the peripherals need the clock and you need to enable the clock to the peripherals. This must be do, done manually. If the peripherals periphery don't have the clock, we cannot change the registers and we on the end we cannot configure the periphery. For this we need first to enable the clocks into this periphery, which allow us to change the registers and configure this periphery. For this, in the in the ICC.h file, you can, for example, found very very basic macros which allow us to enable the clocks for the periphery, disable the clocks for the periphery, reset the periphery into default state, and also the erase reset, which means that stop resetting the the periphery. These are the macros. We before in the previous library we used the the functions for this, but must we I must say the function was a little bit bigger, and use for this the macros seems the more effective way in in case that using the low power. Here is only example example of the macros. You see that the macros are based on the direct direct register register access and I think more macros for the for the reset. Okay. Definitely if you are interesting in the macros we can look into into the H file to see what is what is hidden under under the macros. <coughs> 